It's happened to all of us. You have a nice meal at a restaurant and then the check arrives. Yeah, and you think, did I really spend that much? Well, Jimmy Rhodes says, while the bill might be surprising to you, restaurants know just how to pump up that total. How restaurants trick you is our featured story at the top of the list. Okay, you know the cheapest way to eat is at home, but sometimes you're gonna eat out, and? Restaurants use all kinds of tricks to get you to overspend. Consumer experts Lisa Lee Freeman and Mandy Walker from the Hot Shopping Tips website and podcast know all the ways restaurants trick you into spending even more. Dodge these tricks and you'll save a bundle on your restaurant meals. For starters, beware of beverages. As you're sitting down, the first thing you're usually asked is if you'd like still or sparkling water. That means bottles of water. So you're paying for something they're obligated to give you for free. Just say tap's fine. The next beverage bombshell? They know that you don't want to look cheap, so probably you'll order the second least expensive bottle of wine. Restaurants are wise to this, so they put the biggest markup on that bottle of Wine. Next, be on guard against waitstaff shenanigans. The waiters recite the specials without telling you the prices. So don't be shy. Ask what the prices are. They're often the most expensive items on the menu. Then after the meal, some waiters will bring over the dessert menu before you've even had a chance to figure out whether you have room for dessert. Hey, it takes about 20 minutes for the hormones sent by your gut to tell your brain that you're full. So always ask for some more time. Studies have shown that we're more likely to order dessert if we do it quickly and if we see the descriptions on the menu or if the waiter brings them over on a tray. Because they look and sound delicious. Speaking of looks, remember that menus are sleazy on the eyes. There's location. Studies have shown that our eyes are naturally drawn to the upper right-hand side of menus, so that's where restaurants place their most profitable items. And? They know that you tend to look at the top and the bottom of each section of the menu. So the high markup items go there. Plus? They'll put their most profitable items in really large letters or they'll draw boxes around them. Just be aware that the restaurants really want you to order them, but make sure that's what you really want. Then they play the comparison game. They'll place a super expensive item next to another item that happens to be more profitable. In other words, not a great deal for you. Even though it looks like a great deal. The final menu mind trick? Be suspicious that there are no dollar signs on the menu. Cornell University found the guests who viewed menus without dollar signs tended to spend more. Avoiding restaurant tricks is at the top of the list.